Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to install AT Launcher and install the Utopia mod uh, pack for the AT Launcher for Oxygen server. Uh, so first off you're going to want to open up a new internet browser, uh, just like this, Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, whatever, it's your choice. Then you're going to type in AT Launcher, just like that, and you're going to click the first link or the one that says Dash Home. Once you do that, at the top, we're just going to say Home About Contacts Downloads. You're going to want to click the download section. Once here, it'll show you installation video. You can watch that if you would like, but this is going to show you how to do that. You're just going to keep scrolling down until you see Windows.exe, Mac OS X app, and Linux.jar or such others. Now, whichever operating system you need, click that. You will then begin downloading the exe. Now I've already done so, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out, I don't need it. Once you have it, place the shortcut anywhere or just run it through your search programs. You're going to open it up, which I shouldn't have done because I already have open. And you're going to have that open and it's going to open up a little console and the launcher itself. Next thing you'll need to do, it should start you off in news, you're going to want to click packs and you're going to want to scroll down from the start or wherever to find Utopia 3 the Ace or the Age of Adventure 1.7.10 you're gonna click new instance then you're gonna make sure this is selected at the top version to install and you're gonna hit install there's already blah 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 that's what I have because I've already installed it but I'm gonna show you what it's like to through my reinstall so you guys don't have to do this you're gonna hit install and this little window is going to pop up make sure you do not select any of these make sure you hit clear all just in case you have and click install it'll then begin installing the mod pack and you'll be able to play once you're done hit play it'll start launching the server or start launching your minecraft and it will take a minute just bear with it it might say not responding but it's just because there's 104 mods or so in here so yes once you're done Go get on, get the IP from what Jen has sent you, and put that in multiplayer, and you should be able to play. Thank you for watching.